Hey, what's up everybody? This is Tammy. Welcome back to our video tutorial series on beginning sprite kit. In this part of the series, you'll learn about another kind of node that deals specifically with labels. Labels in sprite kit allow you to display text to help keep your player informed. They are created using the SK Label Node class and can use either the built-in fonts or fonts that you add to the project. Unlike SK Sprite Node, SK Label Node does not have an anchor point property. Instead, you use the vertical alignment mode and horizontal alignment mode properties to help with positioning the node. You use that in addition to its position property. The vertical alignment mode controls the text's vertical placement in relation to the label's position. There are four options, bottom, top, center, and baseline. The blue points in the diagram show where each label's bounding box will be rendered in relation to the label's position. The horizontal alignment mode controls the text's horizontal placement. There are three options here, left, right, and center. This time we're using red points to show where each label's bounding box will be rendered. There are two things worth noting here. Firstly, the default alignment modes of SK Label Node are center for horizontal and baseline for vertical. Secondly, baseline uses the actual font's baseline, which you can think of as a line on which you would draw the font. If you were writing on ruled paper, you would notice that the letters G and Y will hang below the defined position. Let's take a look at how this works with our other labels that we'll be adding to Zombie Conga. One of the labels we want to add to Zombie Conga is a label to show the number of lives the zombie has remaining. Now we could use built-in fonts, but we've decided to use a font called Glimstick. Now in order to use this font, we'll need to add it to our project. You have this file in the resources for this video tutorial. Locate that file and drag it into your project. When you drag it in, make sure that the Add to Targets is selected. Once it is, go ahead and click Finish. If you're going to use a font that you've added to the project, you also need to modify the info.plist to let the application know that you'll be providing fonts. Head over to info.plist and I'll show you how to do this. Go ahead and minimize these two if you have them open. Then select the last one and hit the plus. Now type in fonts provided by application. Once you start to type, it'll pre-fill it for you, and then you can just simply hit the tab key. Expand this, and you'll notice that you have item zero of type string. Now all you need to do is type in the font name, or actually the file name. Now that we have our font completely added to our application, we can head over to the game scene and get our label created and added to the scene. We'll start by creating a constant for our SK label node. You'll notice here that I'm simply creating an SK label node and I'm passing in the font named Glimstick. Now let's head down to the Did Move to View and create some additional information for our lives label and add it to the scene. Add this before the debug draw playable area call. You'll notice here that on line 101, we're setting the text for our label. On line 102, we're setting the color. On line 103, the font size. Lines 104 through 107 have to do with the position of the SK label node. Take note of the horizontal alignment mode left and vertical alignment mode bottom. These are very important in helping you to determine the proper position for your label. Then finally, on line 109, we are adding our lives label to the scene. But what good would this label be if we didn't update it? You know our zombie hit enemy is where our zombie loses a life. That would be a great place to update the label, so let's head on down to there and set the text accordingly. We'll update the lives label after he loses a life, and unfortunately, 
and sadly, after he loses a cat. Let's build and run to see what we have. Okay, so I stopped it real quick because the music is going to drive me crazy and you probably won't be able to hear my instruction over it. I don't want you to do what I'm about to do, but I'm going to go up to the very top here and just turn off the music in the did move to view. Again, you don't need to do this on your end. This is just so you can hear me going forward. So let's play, build and run. And now you can see that we have our lives counter right here down at the bottom. And you'll yeah. notice that when he gets hit, it yeah. actually yeah. takes away a life from him. And now you can see it on yeah. the screen. That's it for this video tutorial. And now we have a challenge for you. Your challenge is to create a new label to keep track of the cat count. I hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.